Recently, the Veterans Affairs Committee in Nova Scotia heard some deeply troubling testimony. The executive director of the Royal Canadian Legion in Nova Scotia testified that he's heard the startling stories of active serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces posted in Nova Scotia who are living rough in tents, living in their vehicles, couch surfing, and have even entered in some cases into relationships to secure housing that have put them at risk of domestic violence. And this is in addition to what we've already heard at, at our committee, our Veterans Affairs Committee in Ottawa, where we're hearing about sitting members uh, of the Canadian Armed Forces serving members who are living out of their cars because the cost of living has gotten so bad that they can't afford a place to live. Justin Trudeau's housing minister is from Nova Scotia. And right here in his own backyard, we're hearing all of these reports of serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces who are so affected by this housing crisis. And, you know, he's got what he calls a, a housing plan that's really just a photo op plan. It doesn't show any compassion. It doesn't build any homes. It's just about photo ops. You can't trust a government that's been in power for eight years and has caused the very problem they say they're trying to fix. They're the ones who've caused this problem. You know, housing prices have more than doubled under their government. So you can't trust them to be the ones to fix it. All they're interested in is photo ops. You'll need a conservative government that has a real plan to fix problems with housing in this country, to give people those opportunities, that promise of Canada to be back uh, for, for all those again. And, and most importantly, um, when we talk about those who are serving our country and our armed forces uh, and our veterans who serve this country and we think about the fact that they're either underhoused or homeless in some cases, that is absolutely shameful. And so common sense conservatives at both the National Defense Committee and the Veterans Affairs Committee will be doing everything we can to get to the bottom of this situation and to bring light to this situation so that we can bring forward solutions. We'll be working hard in the new year at both of those committees, National Defense and Veterans Affairs, to try to come up with, problem, with the, the solutions to these problems and make sure they're addressed because, frankly, the Trudeau government and its Nova Scotia housing minister are doing nothing. And so it'll fall to common sense conservatives to fix this problem. And I can assure you, we are up to that task.